from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Friday, December the 17th, 2021. An Israeli man murdered last night in a terror attack in the West Bank was laid to rest today. Hundreds gathered to pay their final respects to 25-year-old Yehuda Demendman, who was a student at a yeshiva in the Chomesh outpost. He and two friends were leaving Chomesh last night when their vehicle came under fire by Palestinian terrorists. Denetman was shot in the neck and died at the scene. The other two with him were lightly injured from glass. IDF forces continue to search for those responsible. And Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett vowed that security forces will soon get their hands on the terrorists and will ensure that justice is served. U.S. State Department spokesperson Ned Price wrote yesterday, we strongly condemn the terrorist attack today in the West Bank that killed an Israeli citizen and wounded two others. Our thoughts are with the victims of this attack and their families. Pro-Israel lobby APAC, the American Israel Public Affairs Committee, announced the creation of two bipartisan PACs, or political action committees, yesterday to raise funds for designated current and incumbent members of Congress. APAC is launching a federal PAC and a super PAC, it tweeted, to make us more effective in our mission in the current political environment. Writing that the APAC PAC will highlight and support current pro-Israel Democratic and Republican members of Congress, as well as candidates for Congress. APAC spokesperson Marshall Whitman said in an email to the Times of Israel that the creation of a PAC and a super PAC is an opportunity to significantly deepen and strengthen the involvement of the pro-Israel community in politics. The auditorium of the Obama Presidential Center in Chicago will now bear the name of Holocaust survivor and Nobel laureate Elie Wiesel. The Jewish insider first reported Wiesel being honored among the civil rights and social justice heroes at the center. Wiesel's son, Elisha, shared with Jewish Insider that his father and President Obama had a warm friendship despite their differences. He said, my father respected the president greatly, but was not afraid to stand apart from him when they found themselves on different sides of a pivotal issue, as they did, he said, with the Iran nuclear deal. Honoring my father, he wrote, despite that, is a powerful message that this space will be used to debate and discuss the critical issues of the day, no matter how much our viewpoints may provoke or upset each other and test our friendships. President Joe Biden bestowed three medals of honor to U.S. soldiers who served with extreme valor in Afghanistan and Iraq in a ceremony yesterday, including Army Ranger Sergeant First Class Christopher Salise, the U.S.'s 18th Jewish Medal of Honor recipient. Salise was killed while knowingly serving as a physical shield, protecting and saving the lives of his team, who came under intense fire during an evacuation mission in Afghanistan in 2018. The White House citing his acts of gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call of duty while serving as the leader of a special operations unit. Salise's wife, Katie, and daughter, Shannon, received the honor on his behalf. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Friday, December the 17th. Live Shabbat services are coming up from New York City's Central Synagogue, followed by Shabbat services from the Hampton Synagogue. At 8.30, a concert with Nefesh Mountain and 6.13 at 9, JBS presents Hate Among Us a documentary offering a tapestry of unique perspectives on anti-Semitism. At 10.30, a replay of the Hampton Synagogue services, followed by a replay from Central Synagogue. And coming up next, a look at this week's Torah portion. And that's the JBS News Update for Friday, December the 17th, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well, and Shabbat Shalom.